We're going around asking people tonight, what do you think has been Kamala Harris's greatest achievement over the past four years as vice president? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Stacey, help me. Um, I, you know, and what I can say is I, her belief with uh, women's rights and supporting women's rights, supporting education, supporting um, our country, gun control, it's huge. And, um, and then what would you say here? Ask her too. I got it. I can hold it. It's good. Um, I would say that she tried to work on the border and immigration, but it was um, not voted again for because Trump said no, because he wanted to come in and he wants to pass the laws. So we tried, but we couldn't get it because we, we have a divisive Senate. So I think she did have things in place, but it just wouldn't go through because we have a Senate that voted against her, even though the majority of them agreed. So um, that, that's great. I just have one more question, if you sure. guys don't mind. Um, tonight at the rally, we've been hearing from a lot of people that they love that Kamala is a steady hand and that she is a unifying figure. Yes. Um, she did use a lot of strong language tonight about Donald Trump being a petty dictator. And last week with Anderson Cooper, she called him a fascist. Do you think that those two ideas um, co like go together or? Yes. Very much so. He is a criminal and he is petty. You know, his way of trying to, he, he doesn't have talking points. He talks down to people and about them. He can't come through and say, well, she hasn't done this policy. Instead, it's always using negative connotations, you know, like calling, you know, someone with the R word, you know, or talking badly about like, Puerto Rico, he, like he doesn't know geography and understands that, you know, it is a territory that's we they, they're allowed to be here. Right. Because they are citizens. Um, so, you know, I think that it's true. He is petty. He is a criminal and he is extremely divisive. He's cruel. He's unkind. And he's all he he's has. Dangerous. Yes. The only thing that he has to say is negativity. He doesn't have anything to actually say, like even when he went on Joe Rogan. Right, it's supposed to be his guy. Joe finally stopped and was like, "You're not answering my questions. You're just talking about yourself." Well, and he never answered the questions. So I think she's right. And um, for, question for either of you: What do you think Kamala Harris will do for the middle class? We hear a lot of people saying that she's also going to be a steady hand for the middle class, but we have been experiencing kind of high inflation prices yeah. over the past four years. So, for either one of you, whoever wants to answer, what is Kamala Harris going to do that Joe Biden couldn't for the middle class? Um, I think one of the things that she was talking about even tonight is um, stopping the inflation um, on prices. We'll have to remember where we came from we have all of this inflation because of COVID and we always inherit the last presidency's problems and the laws that are put into place usually don't take effect, right? Until the next one. And a lot of people also don't understand is that he talks about, we're gonna put tariffs on people. Tariffs are taxes. And so that's double taxing because once we've made a tariff, then we are now gonna then tax again in the stores. So we're doubling again that price. So she talked, to tonight about putting a um what was it that she said she said like we're going to put a stop to that inflation we're going to work hard to make laws to stop that inflation for that so tax breaks for middle class versus for the millionaires right which right now exactly. that's who's getting it and um and it's hard